Hello and welcome to this video, white playing, ah, rather black playing, Tyrant 1. Okay, so, uh, we'll go with Knight F6. I'm going to try and play a Nimzo, hardly ever play Nimzo Indians. Um, okay, so, can we play this? Can we play Bishop before check? What happens if we do that? Um, I don't actually know. All right, well, let's find out. Okay. All right. Um, seems okay. So, can we play C5 here? We can, I think. about this, but seems okay. Okay, so e3, takes, takes, seems fine. We could put just put, try and push for d5 now. Just go for a really big center. Or we can get maybe get castled first, and then we don't have to worry about the checks. Uh, we might have to give up this bishop for the knight, which is okay, because black's given up his darts word bishop as well, so... dc doesn't look right, because b2's hanging. Um, okay, so bishop here. I think we just play this. Um, okay, so... That's his 6. Now there's some stuff happening on d. There's quite a lot of pressure on d4 now with the pawn and the queen and the knight, so... Okay, so cd from white and ed. So we might end up with a hanging pawn, hanging d pawn, um, here. But we could, we want to just look at queen takes b2. That's the interesting thing. After queen takes b2, rook to b1. It's not forced, but if the queen just came back here, rook b the b the bishop is covered, and we're still hitting this. So this is definitely an interesting move to try and win a pawn. Um, queen takes b2. So let's see what happens if we take the a pawn. So queen takes b2, rook here, queen takes a2. Um, and obviously rook a1, which is coming to b2. Are we going to get stuck there? I'm not sure about that. We're a little bit offside, but our development's pretty good. Um, what else could we have after b2? We could just have a3, then we can take the c4. I think we're going to go do this, I mean, I'm not 100% sure about this, but we're good with a lot. I think the downside is this takes a long time to to look at, so... Um, what we're hoping for is that this c pawn will be weak, so we, we can pick that up at some point and then be a clear pawn ahead. Okay, so knight b3 to defend the c pawn, which looks good. Um, let's try bishop f5, and that stops rook b1. So what if a3 we can take? Okay, bishop b5. Um, now this pawn is on priest. So let's see. What happens if bishop c2 to hit the queen? Queen moves. We could play queen d2. Queen here is possible. I think maybe just getting this. Which which rook is it? That's the question. Let's try this one. I'm gonna pre-move that one. So we'd like to get this queen offside. Get back into the game. Okay, so that pre-move was okay. Now knight here hits the bishop on f5, and also the knight, the pawn on c6. Okay, so that's that's the kind of the issue here. All right, so we're also blocking this in a little bit. So this is a bit tricky because I think if we come back to bishop d7 to hit this, then we can run into troubles with getting our queen out. So what I'm going to try and do now is 
Okay, so the problem for this is if we play rook takes rook here, then queen takes d5. Okay, okay. And we've also got check on e7, picking up the rook, so that's definitely a problem for me. So let's try rook d7. It's looking a little bit dicey now. Looking like maybe grabbing that b-pawn wasn't such a good idea. Oh, and we've just lost a bishop. Okay, that's definitely not good. Just completely missed that. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, so I just missed that completely. Um, alright. Queen's queen here. Queen here. We could take this, but then we're really in trouble. I think we'll try this. And this pawn is pretty strong now, defended by the knight. But we may be able to kick this knight away. So, okay. Alright, so... This is actually going to drop this pawn now if I move my bishop. Unless I play here, and then play f3. Okay. Wow. Um, let's try a3. If takes, I'm going to just take this... Pawn, I think. And if knight moves, okay. Um, all right, so ah, oh, this is kind of not great either because then we've. Wow, um, I think it's time to resign this game. This has all gone very horribly wrong. Uh, yeah, um, okay. Time to wave the white flag there. Alright. So, yeah, what went wrong here? Um, let's just have a quick look here with the analysis board and... So, I think right about here, it's fine. Um, D takes C5, and it's kind of okay with black here. So it just wants to recapture here. So let's just see what happens after Queen takes B2. It still thinks black's fine. Knight B3 was played. Okay, so Bishop F5. I actually missed that my this D pawn was was on pre, so it should be five, it's still okay, but it's starting to want to get the queen out of there now, and this is obviously bad, this, this move is bad, just, okay, so allow, allowing this fork after which things are not great for, and then it's that wants to defend here, so if we defend this, yeah, White's, white's in difficulties now. Black's in difficulties, rather, because of this position of the queen. It's just not very great. Okay, so, interesting. Thanks for watching.